Hi, this is David Marsh with eminitradingstrategies.com. Today is August 5th, 2010. In this video, I want to talk about what no zone is and why it's so important when you trade. Okay, first, no zone is two separate rule sets that keep traders out of my normal system entry. Sometimes I'll use the acronym NSE. The NSE is our bread and butter trade setup. I teach three setups in my e-mini trading course. The NSE is my bread and butter one. Okay. The other two are pullbacks and EETs. We're not going to go over those in this video. Okay. I teach what no zone is in my course. I teach you how to find no zone. I teach you how to come out of no zone, what trades to take, etc., etc. But on my Ninja Trader 6.5 chart here, you'll see there's some back coloring. This back coloring comes from my program, Pro Indicator Version 2, which knows the different rule sets and plots this shaded color here for you. So Pro Indicator Version 2 is not necessary, but it's a really nice tool to have when you're trading, as you can clearly see when we're in no zone. And in just a minute, you're going to see why it's so important to stay away from NSC trades when we're in no zone. What's also more important to know is that the NSEs, the normal system entries that follow after no zone, are typically good winners. Okay, I call those a high probability trade, meaning the first trade that follows no zone is normally a winner and if it's not the one that follows is a good recovery trade if the first one loses now if you came to tonight's webinar you have seen a lot of examples of this if you didn't um, get in touch or go to our blog you'll see a lot of examples of this okay so this orange color here is a uh, one rule set of no zone and this yellow back color is another rule set so again today is August 5th so we're in no zone and sure enough the first normal system entry after no zone really strong winner okay then we come back into no zone okay why is no zone so important well because it keeps you from taking losing trades this gray dot is pro indicator version 2's way of calculating so it just shows it's just a small reference dot but it suppresses the actual signal and it just puts that that small gray dot there so you can see where the NSE would have been and the first thing you're thinking well gosh this is a winning trade hmm? yeah it would have been a winning trade but it's not a valid normal system entry because we're in no zone and we simply would not take this trade okay that's sometimes that's gonna happen following the rules will sometimes keep you from a winning trade but that's okay because look at what happened okay sure you would have made something on that trade but here's a short trade you would have lost Here's a long trade. Depending on fill price, you know, you you may have made four ticks, or you may have broken even. Really hard to say, but more than likely, you probably either broke even or lost on a trade. So there's one loser. A possible break even could be a winner. But sure enough, here's a short trade, easy loser. A, another long trade that would have been followed by another short trade. And look at that. You could probably hit your stop loss right there already so as you can see no zone is vital again normal system entries are my bread and butter trades but when they lose their probability of success aka no zone we want to avoid them sure there's going to be times when you're going to miss a winning trade but that's okay because look at how much you could have lost if you didn't have the no zone rules okay so that's what no zone is and as you can see it's really important so I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about what no zone is, what it isn't, and of course all of this is taught in my Tick Trader day trading course. Thanks.